When it comes to motorsports in Central Oregon, you can get out on the trails all year long, depending on your choice of ride. We've got a fleet of brand new sleds here, and we get to take people up to explore all the different facets of the monument. With Octane Adventures, you're able to check out the Newberry National Volcanic Monument, where cars aren't able to access in the wintertime. The, the obsidian flow, where like the lava flow has gone through, we get a ride along right along the edge of that. We have people that want to go to the lodge for like a meal and a drink. We've got quite a few options. Located on the road up to Polina and East Lakes, they make snowmobiling approachable, giving you a stress-free day of fun. As far as tours go, like we're, we make it super easy for people to come up here, like as opposed to renting snowmobiles in town, hooking it onto a trailer and coming up here. We just make it easy for people to come up here park, hop on one of our nice new machines, and we make it super easy to go check out. We'll show you all the cool spots. That can kind of be some of the daunting parts about snowmobiling, is hauling in a trailer, unloading the snowmobiles, getting them up to where, you know, the snow is sometimes. So you make it easy for people. They just drive on up here to 10 Mile Snow Park, and we've got it all right here. Yeah, fill out your waiver on the way up here, and then we'll get you set up. We'll go over the machines and get you fitted with a helmet and goggles, and then we'll go take you out for a good time. Octane Adventures has the option to take a tour with the guide, or rent your own snowmobiles for a few hours. You know, for people that haven't been out on snowmobiles much or haven't been up here, I certainly recommend the guided tour. We'll take you around everywhere you want to go and make sure you can get it all done within the, the rental time. There are several ways you can rent and ride their machines. So typically is what we have on the rentals, people come up here for like the weekend. So there are some cabins up here that people rent. So as far as the rentals go, people might rent them for one or two nights up here. But as far as our guided tours go, we have two and four hour tours, as well as like a sunset tour, which runs from three to five. Awesome. Catch the end of the day and there's some beautiful views and colors up from the peak at the end of the day. Oh my gosh, yeah, those can't be beat for sure. There's not much you need to prepare for in renting the snowmobiles, but making sure you're dressed properly is a must. It's gonna be no fun if you're cold. Yeah. Like that first and foremost, you wanna like have good base layers, have good shells on, because you know, a little bit different than like for say snowboarding or skiing, something like that is the speeds you can reach might be a little faster and that wind can cut through you. And so you just wanna make sure that you have appropriate layering to stay warm, cause that can really pull away from your ride if you're worrying about staying warm over what you're doing. You have to have a helmet or goggles or do you guys provide those? We provide all those things. So really we just want people to have good footwear with you know high enough sides on those boots that when you step off into the snow, you're not gonna be getting snow in your boot. And then also just a good pair of gloves, um, probably a pair with fingers over mittens, cause those are better for operating the machine. Otherwise, yeah, we get you all set up with the right helmet and goggles. As far as requirements go, you need to be 21 years old with a valid driver's license to operate the snowmobile and 25 with a passenger. To be a passenger, do you have to be a certain height or do you have to be a certain age? You know, that's right around six or seven years old. We don't have a younger, like a, a lower age limit. It's really just being able to reach the footboards and to be able to kind of safely fit on the back of the machine. Right. We can work with people around those younger ages and we've got helmets all the way down to youth small. Their snowmobiles are easy to operate with the latest technology. So we've got the, the Adventures here, and these are about 100 horsepower, and these are great for beginners because we can put them on eco mode or sport mode, and that really helps kind of vary the throttle sensitivity. Great for new riders. They're quiet, they're smooth, and they're comfortable. We've also got the XCs here. These are 140 horsepower, a little faster, a little longer track. Better for getting off the trail into some deeper snow. Um, into some deeper powder, you're gonna have a good time on that one if you're a little more experienced rider. Starting the engine is easy. Taking in the sights is breathtaking. And enjoying the ride is a simple way to get outside on a snowy winter day. We've got people traveling from all over the states to come do this, visit us from all over. And I think to show people such an extreme environment that can be like so rocky and jagged and but so beautiful at the same time, all while having fun on like a a luxury, you know, touring snowmobile. It's, it's comfortable, it's beautiful, and it's exciting. You can find tours and more at octaneadventures.com. For another edition of Get Outside, I'm Emily Kirk.